Hey guys, I'm Global Essences and welcome to K-News featuring the European Ariane 5 launch. Ariane will carry two TV satellites into space, the DirecTV 15 and the Sky M1. DirecTV or DTV is an American satellite television provider, which is also a shareholder of the leading Mexican pay TV company Sky Mexico. The launch window opens on Wednesday, May 27th at 6.16 pm and the launch will take place in Kourou, French Guiana. The targeted geostationary transfer orbit has an inclination of 6 degrees and a 250 by 36,000 km shape. 6 degrees, by the way, is one of the lowest inclinations possible from Kourou because of its location close to the equator. This is because spacecraft always orbit the center of mass of a planet. And that would not be the case if they'd aim at 0 degrees, as you can see here. DirecTV 15 is built by Airbus Defense and Space, has an unfolded span of 42 meters and weighs 6.2 metric tons at liftoff. The special thing here is it features multiple possible orbit locations, ranging from 99 to 190 degrees west. Its smaller companion SkyM1 is built by Orbital ATK, will place itself at a fixed position at 78.8 degrees and weighs 3 metric tons, which is roughly the half. Both satellites will be stacked on top of each other and separated by a bell-shaped cover to prevent one satellite damaging the other during separation. DirecTV 15 will cover the USA including Alaska, Hawaii and Puerto Rico, while SkyM1 will focus on Mexico, Central America and the entire Caribbean area. Both satellites share the same lifespan of 15 years, after which they will be placed in a graveyard orbit. Such an orbit lies approximately 100 km higher to avoid collisions creating even more debris. This is necessary because the orbiting a geostationary satellite would require around 1500 meters per second of delta V, while boosting it into a graveyard orbit only takes 11 meters per second. In case you don't know what exactly delta V is, don't worry. I have a video dedicated exactly to that, which I will link you alongside more detailed information about the mission in the info box. Okay, this concludes episode 9 of K News, and I hope to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.